hello everyone today i'm going to cover natural language processing in my next uh, upcoming videos so my main aim is to cover all the previous year important previous year uh, question paper so that you can easily qualify this paper i know that i would like to help you all by making uh, videos on important questions of natural language processing and before that please consider to subscribe to my channel so that you get a notification regarding whenever i'll upload new videos and also you are uh, free to drop a comment in the comment box where you can just uh, drop a text on which topics you want me to cover uh, considering the exam so basically uh, today's question is i want to cover what is natural language processing and what are all the challenges uh, these natural language processing will face so first of all you have to understand uh, for this question uh, if you want to answer this question you have to understand what what is natural language natural language is nothing but what we speak or what we understand being a humans so that is nothing but language like you we all know what is language that is nothing but natural language itself so if we are considering what is natural language processing it is nothing but it is the development of computational model to analyze human language processing we want to develop the computational model to un analyze or understand the human language uh, processing so what these uh, computational models we want this computational models uh, so that it can process the language and it can understand the human communication if i give the examples google assistants alexa or siri so we all know alexa please if if you say alexa please turn on the tv it will just turn on the tv right because it is analyzing what we are speaking basically it is analyzing our language and it is acting according to our communication being humans communication so this is uh, nothing but this natural language processing and i hope you got a better understanding regarding this and if you are coming to the point what are all the challenges of the natural language processing uh, the major uh, uh, challenges are from these data complexity we know uh, data is a huge in fact nowadays so uh, major uh, this challenge is from the data complexity but if i need to quote some of the challenges uh, first one is phrasing ambiguities so phrasing is nothing but if i give you an example i would ask somebody can you please do me a favor same sentence can be reframed as can you help me both the sentences will hold the same meaning but complete sentence uh, formation is different right so that is nothing but phrasing uh, so we we need to precisely represent the content in a sentence uh, uh, like where a system or machine has to understand that so so uh, that is the phrasing ambiguities and a uh, second one is identifying the semantic semantic is nothing but the meaning basically we need to we base means uh, the machine need to have the knowledge of meaning of the word so uh, language will be evolving each and every day so each and new new words will be added to the language and uh, you know uh, we should uh, be coded uh, the machine where it has to know, it has to be know the meaning of each new words but if we have uh, you know developed a machine today and tomorrow some other new word has been added if i use the word uh, to the machine or ai it couldn't able to understand because in its coding that word is not mentioned so identifying the semantic is one of the major uh, challenge uh, you know uh, stating the language evolvement and uh, third one is complexity of the word idioms metaphor or uh, ellipses will add more complexity to the written text or the sentence for example and i would i would uh, suggest all of you to write an example it adds most value to your answers and uh, most probably there will be some edge for you to get uh, complete marks in that question so if i say the example to this question if i take this example the old man is a straight arrow the straight arrow if we take take the literal meaning it's a arrow which is straight but if we take the meaning in with this uh, sentence straight arrow is nothing but he is honest he is trustworthy person so basically uh, you know we have to analyze the statement and we have to understand the meaning of these words uh, so uh, which is um, you know quite difficult for a machine uh, to act upon and uh, 
quantifier scoping is one of the uh, challenges uh, where uh, the quantifiers are nothing but each then it let like, these words are quant quant uh, quantifiers and um, i have seen not only like um, most of the time uh, we are uh, using these sentence uh, these words interchangeably that uh, sometimes that will change the meaning of the sentence also if we use then instead of uh, than that cha changes the meaning of entire statement right so basically quantifier scoping is also one of the challenges and language references basically anybody any company or any person's aim is to uh, reach global diverse audience so global diverse audience means we should have the cultural language based on the re region and uh, to have this cultural knowledge uh, we have to know how the things are done in their particular country for example uh, if i take the india's example we know taj mahal right taj mahal is a monument which is located in uh, agra and if i use the taj word which 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 means it's a monument or it may be a brand of the tree tea and uh, it also may be hotel which is in mumbai so basically it will be difficult for uh, a ai or machine to analyze on which context we are using this taj word so th this is one of the uh, challenges that is language differences and uh, next one is words with a multiple meaning so obviously a single word may hold multiple uh, meanings for example i have taken the example of bank bank is nothing but the financial institution where transaction will be happening that is like where we can deposit the money or we can do multiple tasks so that is um, out of our range but uh, basically bank is nothing but financial institution and also bank is nothing but the river bank and if we take the uh, word bat bat is nothing but the uh, you know tool we use to play the cricket or it may be also animal basically it is a group of the bird um, uh, it belongs to the group of the bird so uh, you know even uh, in the situation uh, it will be difficult for the machine to analyze on which context we are using the word bank so this is nothing but a words with multiple meanings if we are using a word with multiple meaning that will be difficult for a machine to analyze and lastly we have this sentence with ambiguous meaning so i have taken an example uh, stolen rifle found by the tree basically i have lost the uh, rifle and uh, i found it by the tree so by the tree this uh, these two words will have multiple meanings right it is found by the tree means i have found it near the tree or it is found by the tree means uh, tree has helped me to find it out or tree had uh, found it out right like tree it may be being a human or some uh, some yeah human who uh, searched this rifle so it has like a uh, ambiguous uh, meaning in its uh, in this sentence so that is uh, nothing but sentence with ambiguous meaning so i hope you understand so i'll just uh, would like to uh, mention whatever what are all the challenges i have covered phrasing ambiguity we know phrases uh, with different meanings and identifying the semantic considering the language evolution and complexity of the word here straight or which means honest but it will be difficult for the machine to analyze our context and quantifier scoping language differences considering reaching uh, consider the reach of a global diverse uh, audience uh, there will be cultural differences and uh, words with multiple meanings and uh, lastly the sentence with um, ambiguous meaning and I hope this will be helpful for you and uh, thank you so much uh, for watching us and uh, please do let me know in the comment box which topic you want me to cover in my next video and please consider to subscribe thank you